Now, Rosie, I love roast chicken, I love stuffing, and I love hazelnuts as well. So I'm going to combine the whole lot together with a little bit of bacon to make it really, really delicious. And I've got this speck here, which we call bacon. I love this stuff because it actually gives so much flavour. What I'm going to do is show you something that's really sort of simple and actually you get lots of stuffing, lots of roast chicken, and it keeps everything nice and clean. Right. Now, to start with, I've got a big bowl over there. Yep. I want you to crack two eggs into it. There's some parsley there. Chop that nice and fine. Some lemon here as well. Zest that and some rosemary. Chop that nice and fine and get it in there. You that's going to be the sort of base of our uh, stuffing. Now, I've got an onion here that I'm going to cut really nice and fine. And what I'm going to do is sweat this off nice and gently with some of the bacon fat which helps to make it nice and nice and flavoursome and delicious and smoky and bacony and all those lovely things. Are you getting the idea I'm sort of... When was the last time you went and got your heart checked, Adrian? Well, my heart's there. I know it is. It's still beating because it gets excited. It starts to get flustered every time There's I talk about bacon. There we go. There's nothing wrong with There we go. It's as long as you eat everything in moderation, as we like to say. I know I get a little bit excessive about things, but it's just me. I just get excited about... Bacon, I just love cooking with it. Now, what I'm going to do is peel the skin off. And you can see the skin comes off really easily. You could do this with a knife, but if you've got really good quality bacon, I just peel that skin off there. I don't let that go to waste. I pop that in the bottom of the pan and I render it down a little oh, bit. Oh, it's going to be an eye mask or something. Oh, I could have cut things out and put After it on. After hours. Oh, you're getting me all flustered now. There we go. I'm getting all excited. Now, I've got some time here and I've cut the uh, the woody stalks off the bottom and I've got the really fine, soft stuff at the top there. I want to have plenty of herbs in my stuffing. The more herbs you put in there, the more flavoursome it is. And what I tend to do is, as you can see here, I've got the stronger herbs like the thyme. I'll put them in at the beginning and cook them off because they'll hold up really well. Yeah. And the uh, the parsley, I'll put in right at the end because that's got a lovely flavour. That's it. There's some herbs sometimes that can stand the cooking a bit and there's others that we just want as fresh as we possibly can. Exactly. So I've got the bacon cut up nice and fine yep. here like this. And now I know my pan is nice and hot. What I'm going to do is add a little bit of extra virgin olive oil to the pan and you'll hear that start to sizzle just a little bit because we want a lot of flavour in there and we want some olive oil in there. It's all going to add flavour, isn't it? It's Listen to actually. that sizzle. There's nothing better. It makes me think of waking up in the morning and having a nice big bit of bacon sizzling away in the pan ready for, ready for it to start a new day. There we go. Now, in goes the onion and the garlic. And what I'll do is I'll just toss that round a little bit. You can smell it tastes good already, can't looks you? looks good. It looks good. And if it smells as good as that, you know it's going to be a delicious, delicious feast. Now, I've got some butter in here. Now, the reason I'm adding so much fat or oil and butter and stuff is because we're going to have a lot of breadcrumbs in I there. I did wonder why. And that's going to... The breadcrumbs will soak a lot of that up, but it'll also make it quite luscious and flavoursome. Stuffing is a luxury thing, isn't it? We should all have stuffing every day, but it's one of those things, if you're going to make it, you know, you might as Not well make day, it really, really week. proper. Well, if you can have it at once Christmas time or, you know, once every now and again. So what I'm going to do is pop a little bit of butter in the side there, just snuggle it in on the side there, and that's going to melt down and help to dissolve with all the bacon fat and all that lovely onion and garlic, and it'll come together and make it nice and delicious. Now, you're chopping those herbs up nicely. What I'm going to add to here as well is some currants, some dried currants. And you could use any fruit. Could you put goji, goji berries, something like that? Goji in there? berries would be great in there. I find they've got a little bit of crunch to them, so you mm -hmm. could soak them in a little bit of apple juice, would be a nice way of doing it. And all that's going to do is sizzle around nicely like that. Look at that butter melting in mm -hmm. there. I'm just going to add some salt and some pepper as well. But the, uh, the currants go straight in there. They're dried. You could use some grapes in there as well Ooh, if you've yum. got some grapes a little bit mushy. And, but you, you can know. really show your personality off of your stuffing. You could. And in summertime, we usually make things like stuffing for things like turkey and chicken and, mm. and those sorts of things when we have them at Christmas time. Why not use mangoes? They're always in season in Australia. In, uh, Seasonal in stuffing. There we go. Now, all I need to do is let that simmer away for a couple of minutes until it melts down. And we'll be able to add the hazelnuts and put it all together. Now, Rosie, you can see the onions have melted down and they're mm. nice and soft. What I'm going to do is take this lovely piece of uh, bacon rind out of here. You can use this for so many things, pop it in soup or anything else, but we're going to save it for later. Nothing goes to waste here. Now, I'm just going to grab this pan. I'm going to hot load straight into the bowl here like that and move this out of the way. Just make sure I turn that off. 
and get some breadcrumbs here. Probably about two cups of fresh breadcrumbs straight in here. You could use dried breadcrumbs, but if you use dried breadcrumbs, they will soak up a lot of that butter. So I like to use fresh breadcrumbs. So I get my Maggi mix, a couple of loaves of breads, give it a bit of a pulse and it comes together. Now the hazelnuts. So I've got these beautiful hazelnuts here. About a cup of hazelnuts that have been roasted. And the way I roast the hazelnuts is nice and slowly. If you do them too fast, they become a little bit burnt on the outside. Mm. So in they go. And I've chopped them up nice and neatly. Now I've got the chicken. I've got a whole chicken, but what I've done is jointed it. I've taken a little tip off the end here and cut the backbone out and separated it. And what I'm going to do is put some salt and pepper onto there so it actually seasons beautifully yeah. as we cook it. Now what I'll do is add some pepper on there because you've got to make sure there's plenty of pepper on it. So what I'll get you to do is pass me the glad bake over there and I'll show you what I do. Now stuffing is usually inside the bird, but I reckon if you do it this way, you can have plenty of stuffing, plenty of lovely bird, and you've got it all together. It's a different way of putting it together. Yeah. So what I'll do is I'll put some baking paper on the bottom here, and I'll grab that stuffing there with a yep. spatula. What I do, Rosie, is pop it onto the bottom of my tray here, and then just smooth it out a little bit. And as you can see, there's plenty of herbs in here, hazelnuts, it looks good, and it's gonna be delicious. And all I need to do is pop my chicken straight yeah. on top here. So we're gonna roast it on top of the stuffing. Now if I pop this straight into the oven, what will happen is the stuffing will burn on the bottom. So if you pass me some stock over there, I'm gonna pour some stock over the top of it so it will stay this quite, is quite smart, moist. isn't it? Oh, it's a bit clever, the old type. This is a hack. The salty old dog's got a few tricks up his sleeve, yeah, hasn't he? Just. Now a bit of stock around there and I'm gonna put about a cup, a cup and a half of stock in there and it will keep it nice and moist as it comes together. It will evaporate a little bit and it'll also help to keep the chicken nice and moist. Now a little bit of extra virgin olive oil over the top there because we want that skin to go nice and crispy and hold together. Now all we need to do is pop this into the oven at about 180 degrees Celsius. It'll be nice and golden on top, roasted all the way through. I can't wait to get into this. Now, Rosie, as you can see, the chicken's nicely cooked, and that stuffing underneath it is like it's got lots of juice it in there. It does look Looks gorgeous. Great. Yeah, there we go. Some peas like on Christmas there. Christmas Day in a pancake. It is like Christmas Day in a pancake. I've got some peas down there already. Now, this is the bit where you decide whether you're, they're for you, whether you're a breast or a leg person. That's the end. Well, I'm going to go for the breast because I've left the wing on, which is my favourite part. And I want you to see that's the stuffing there. Mm. It's sort of firmed up, but you can see it's moist and juicy. It's almost part of the sauce, isn't it? A little it's bit. It's a of... brilliant idea. There I've never go. seen it done that way. It looks gorgeous. Well, this is the first here on uh, on this show. There we go. Wow. The end goes there. That. Now I'm going to grab a knife and fork off you and spin that around. You can have your peas on that side. I'm going to go straight for Gorgeous. the stuffing because that's what's got the hazelnuts in there. And I want to taste that. I'm going to tell you how good this tastes. You're all so thoughtful, Adrian. It's there we go. <laughs> My peas are delicious. Mm. <laughs> They're good for you, lots of green yeah. fibre in there. It Mark looks good, cool. cool. lovely having the fruit element in our stuffing, isn't it? I can tell you the flavour is delicious. I've got the crunch of the nut, the softness of um, of the stuffing in there, the How's sweetness the of the fruit. The chicken, the chicken I'm just going to push aside, I'm just going to keep eating the stuffing. It's so delicious. But this chicken, you can see, it's got lovely colour on it and it's portioned up already. So there's no mess. This is a great way. They're a good bringing, marriage. Exactly. It's a great way of bringing chicken with stuffing to the table without having any mess at all, without having to carve a thing. Just spoon it straight out. I'm really quite impressed. This is delicious.